Hello friends, welcome to the ServiceNow world and today we will see part 6 of ServiceNow developer interview series. So let's go to the first question. The first question is what is identification and reconciliation module? Then the answer is the identification and reconciliation module provides a centralized framework for identifying and reconcil reconciling data from different data sources. It helps maintain the integrity of the CMDB when multiple data sources are used to create and update CI records. Next question, how we can cancel form submission through client script? So if we want to cancel form submission, then on submit function should return false. Means we need to write one on submit client script and then in a, we'll get one uh, there one function is there that on submit function and there we need to return the false and the syntax you will see that function on submit and there we are returning here false next question what do you mean by foreign record insert a foreign record insert occurs when an import make a changes to a table that is not the target table for that import this happens when updating a reference field on a table. An example is when we updating a value for the location of an user, then the import is actually updating CMN underscore location table, not sys user table. So foreign record insert you have seen where the, when we creating the event based transfer map. So there we'll see this option that to foreign on foreign record insert. So that time they will ask uh, this thing. Now move to the next question. Next question is what is the difference between glide record and glide record secure? So there is not that much difference but some little bit difference is there. So we'll see it. So glide record is a class used to interact with your service now instance database from inside a script. It provides many helpful API methods to retrieve, update, create or delete records stored in your ServiceNow instance. While Glide Record Secure is closed sibling of Glide Record. Closed siblings means it's like a very similar to Glide Record. Except that it will automatically enforce ACLs whereas Glide Record requires additional method calls to validate access. So if you need to ensure that a user has read, write, delete access to data in a script, in that case, we will use Glide Record Secure. Now move to the next question. How to control the script conditions of ACL's rules to a table reference field? So we can add Glide dots sys underscore reference underscore row underscore check to the system properties and set their value to true so in that after that after creating this property we set this value true then whatever the whatever the script acl condition will be created that will be applicable on the reference field as well now move to the next question yeah so it's a bonus question so what is that how to pass value from one activity to another activity in one workflow so they so generally their answer is only you can tell like uh, we will use the workflow dot scratch pad dot dot variable name that will be fine but if they are asking deeply like uh, how we can how how what is the syntax and how we are passing and how we are accessing that time you can tell like in the one activity will pass workflow dot scratch pad dot variable name and equal to their value but for accessing that variable in a, another activity what we'll do we'll create one more variable and then we'll write workflow dot scratch pad dot variable name now move to the next question so in the last video i have asked what is the syntax to register an event in service now so basically i have asked see creating an event we can do with the event registry 
so registering an event means we how we can call the event so for calling an event we'll use one function that is gs dot event queue and where we are passing basically four parameters there is one more additional parameters there but basically four we are using the first parameter is event name second parameter is glide record object sometimes we are writing current or sometimes we are passing here null as well and param1 param1 we can pass any string any method any variable in param2 also we can see do same thing we can write we can pass a string we, we can pass method or we can pass like any uh, variable and there are one more additional parameter is there that is uh, we can call a queue so that we are rarely very using now so the today's question is in which table update sets and their customization stored so if you know the answer please write in the comment box and i'll give answer in the next video till that time thank you